What's up YouTube, it's your boy Shane coming back to you with another video. In today's video, I got story time for you, you feel me? Now this story time kind of crazy, you know. I know you can tell from the title, you probably like, yo, what? But I'm gonna get into it, we ready to break it down real quick. And I know, make sure y'all get me on Instagram and all that type of stuff, because it's pressure cooker season, you feel me? So you gonna get notified when we get the new videos coming through. But yeah, getting into this story time. All right, so let me take y'all back, you feel me? I'm in boot camp, and I'm one of the yeomans, right? So... So in boot camp, the yeomans, they usually have to go out, like, you might leave a compartment um, during the day to go do your daily duties or all that type of stuff. So you may leave by yourself, you may leave with the other yeomans or whatever. Being that, in boot camp, you would kind of start to uh, time it to where you would have to leave in the middle of, like, uh, during compartment hygiene. Now, compartment hygiene is where the whole compartment goes to take a shower and all that type of stuff. So... Go figure, if you could miss that, you feel me, they obviously to give you a shower. So if you could miss that compartment hygiene, then later on, uh, you get the hygiene either by yourself or like just with the other people that was gone. So it turns from you had to take a shower with like 80 dudes, you feel me, to you just taking a shower with like two or three other guys, you feel me. And I mean that in the non-weirdest way. So whenever we had to go do some duties, we would definitely try to miss that hygiene, you know, time it right, boom, miss it. Now... The head PO, right? So the head PO is the person, the head petty officer for the head. We, the head is what we call the bathroom in the Navy. So the head PO is responsible for the cleanliness of the head. Now, if you don't know, in boot camp, man, cleanliness is like is like t top tier of what they look for in boot camp. So when I say like we on our hands and knees with lint rollers and stuff like that to get the every last tiny piece of lint out of the, the head, you know, we do the same thing for the laundry room, the compartment. We going through the whole compartment with lint rollers on the floor, on the, everywhere, you know, just to give you an example of how detailed the cleanliness has to be. And you scrubbing and doing all this type of stuff, right? So when we would have to, uh, and they, the head POs, I mean, the head PO and the head crew, they always clean right after hygiene and get it back squared away before we leave out and all that type of stuff. So, um, so of course, they're gonna be kind of upset when like yeomans and stuff like that come back and they we get the hygiene on our own time because they ultimately were responsible for after we take our shower they got to clean it back up now it could have been easier but because in, in uh boot camp it's gonna have two showers it's gonna be a big shower uh that that probably got like like four poles on each pole probably got like four shower heads um and then it's if you go down to the other side of the head it's a smaller one but our RDCs never let us use the, sh the small shower. Even though it was only like three of us taking a shower, they would still make us use the big one. And, um, which was fine, because I, I ain't clean the head, so I wasn't tripping. But the head crew and head PO, they be mad because they gotta clean up after us. So we go in there and take a shower, and you know, we in there trying to enjoy, like enjoy your shower, because we used to having to sh take a shower with 80 people, you know what I mean? So you gotta hurry up and get in and just, Boom, get out the water, scrub down, boom, 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 then hop back in the water, rinse off. So when you're taking a shower where you got the time just to do it, you just under you can stay under the water. So we just try try and like get a good wash in, you know what I'm saying? They envy that. The head PO envied that. So this specific time, it was just me taking a shower. So of course, you know, I'm in there lathering up, you know what I'm saying? I'm in that joint getting my license, little scrub a dub dub going. And then I hear the head PO come in and he like. He like, hey man, hurry up. And of course, you know what I mean? You feel me? I'm like, I ain't even pay bro no mind. You feel me? I ain't even acknowledge he was there. I got soap all over my body. What I look like talking to you, G? You feel me? So I'm just in there like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I ain't even acknowledge him saying hurry up and all that type of stuff. Cause he just, I know he's just jealous that I get to take a shower by myself and all that and he got clean up. So. so I'm in there taking my shower. And then, mind you, I got soap all, soap everywhere, soap everywhere, you know what I'm saying? And and then all of a sudden, the water just cuts off. And I got soap all over my face and all that, so I'm like, I'm like, I, I, uh, I like clear the stuff out, but I don't see nobody. I'm like, I don't see nobody. And then I look over and it's him walking out the head. So I'm like, I'm thinking to myself like, no way, bro, just cut cut my water off, you feel me? Like, no way Amy Recruit just cut my water off, you know what I'm saying? So, like, he ain't in charge of nothing. So, I turn the water back on because I still got soap all over my body, right? 
So I turned the water back on. Bro comes storming, comes storming in there, yelling and all this type of stuff. And he go to reach to turn the water off. You feel me? He go to he go to reach to turn my water off. Well, I got suds on. So I smack his hand like, like yo, like you see I got suds. He get the he get the power trip and talk about he the head PO and all this and all of that. Bro, now mind you, you know what I'm saying? I ain't had I ain't in the place that I was right now. You know what I'm saying? All the level, the level heading this. Mind you, I'm just I'm just coming out of Baltimore City. You feel me? This is so I go straight from zero to a hundred. And mind you, I forget I'm naked. I forget I'm naked with suds on and, and all, all this stuff. So I get we get to going back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, next thing you know, I'm I'm over here squatting up, like, you know what I'm saying? Like squatting up, cause I feel disrespected, bro. Like, you just turned the water off on me and I got suds on. Like, that's the ultimate disrespect of a man. You know what I'm saying? But now I now I look back at the situation and like, dang, I probably ain't had to be such, you know, so I guess saw so non-oblivious to him having to dry the head after I leave and all that type of stuff. But at the same time, that was envy and he was jealous that I got to take a shot. That's all that was. But yeah, he, he get to doing all that. So of course, you know, some people, they love to say all that type of stuff or they get into all that stuff, stuff but they ain't trying to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Which I'm glad he wasn't on the same type of energy I was because first of all, I'm naked. So who would have broke the fight up? And then second of all, we would have gotten in trouble, probably get kicked out, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm glad he was level-headed enough more than me. But yeah, and I remember people came in the head because they heard it and they was trying to like get in between, but you can't really get in between because I'm naked, so you can't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to like try to restrain me because it's like, uh, yeah, it's like, uh. And then I remember uh, we came out, uh, they, they came, or somebody else came in and like told him to go away, told me to just finish my shower. So finish my shower, I come out and we end up talking to the, um, had to talk to the RDCs. And you know, yeah, we got beat for that. You know, got beat, but it is what it is. It was a cool, I mean, now looking back, it's funny. Like, bro, I really almost fought somebody. I really almost had a whole altercation naked with suds on. That show you the change in the growth that I had since being in, just on my mindset. I would never do something, I would never let something get me to that point now. You know what I'm saying? But, but, but low key though, you, you, you was envious about my shower. You know what I'm saying? I just wanna put that out there in case he watching, you feel me? Like, we cool now, you dig what I'm saying? Like, throughout boot camp, we, we became cool again, but on the low, bro, you know you was envious about my shower, so. But yeah, man, it's just been a quick story time, you know, uh, I deemed it pressure cooker season. You know what I mean? We applying pressure this season. You feel me? I've been putting out videos like crazy. We go keep putting them out there. Make sure you go. Uh, make sure you go tune into my Instagram and all that type of stuff, and you stay tuned for everything else. But I hope you continue to stay official like a referee to a whistle. It's your boy Shame. I'm out.